Here's how we're going to maximize the look of your medium maintenance lawn. If you want a nice lawn but don't want to commit too many hours to lawn care, a medium maintenance lawn could be just your style. Here are the tips, tools, and materials you will need. The most important steps for success are mowing, overseeding, weeding, fertilizing, and watering. You'll learn the basics and we'll throw in a few lawn maintenance tips that'll save you time and money. Mowing technique is important. Spring and fall are prime mowing times. Mulch mow your lawn all season by making multiple passes. The goal of mulch mowing is to chop up grass into smaller and smaller pieces that break down quickly. As these clippings become smaller, they will break down and nourish the roots, becoming free fertilizer. Expert tips. Set the blade at about two or more inches. When mowing in summer, increase the height of mower blades to encourage root growth. Overseeding. Add grass seed to your entire lawn in spring or fall using a seed spreader and fill in large bare spots by hand or using a lawn patch product. In spring, Dethatching before overseeding will give you the best result. The goal of dethatching is to remove dead grasses and stems from the lawn area. After overseeding, cover the entire area with one quarter inch deep compost. It keeps the seeds where you want them and make sure you keep the seeds moist for a week, either through the rain or light frequent watering. Tips. The best time for fall overseeding is around Labor Day weekend because the soil is warm and encourages seed germination. Be sure to water and avoid walking on the newly reseeded area until the grass establishes. What if you have a bunch of weeds in your lawn? Weeding and overseeding work well together. Pull weeds in early spring and then overseed. The key idea with weeds is making sure they don't go to seed. Mow the seed stalks before they flower to keep them from spreading. Or you can remove weeds with a tool or spot spray. Avoid weed and feed products that combine weed killer and fertilizer. Weed and feed products often include more ingredients than your lawn needs at any one point in time. The best time to apply fertilizer is not always the best time to apply herbicide. Also, spreading herbicide over the entire lawn is often not necessary. A few more tips. Hand pull weeds in lawns as needed. Fertilize your lawn separately from weeding. If you choose to use a weed killer, use the spot spraying method to kill individual weeds. Make sure to follow the label instructions to find out how long to wait before reseeding. By separating these two products, you can apply them at the right time and in the right quantity. With lawn chemicals, aim to use only what you need to protect water quality. Fertilizing, remember to feed your lawn. To finish off the lawn maintenance cycle, apply a slow release fertilizer in late fall. Sweep up any granules that fall on the pavement. A late season fertilizer application is the most effective because it jump starts your grass for next season. A few more useful tips. An additional application of fertilizer in spring can be added around Memorial Day to increase your lawn's health. Mulch mowing adds about the equivalent of one fertilizer application through the course of a year. And now to a key ingredient, H2O. For medium care lawns, determine if you will water through the summer. You can let your lawn go brown during the dry months and it will recover when the rain returns. You can help it recover by overseeding and fertilizing around Labor Day. Another tip, if you choose to water, keep in mind that watering during the morning or evening helps conserve water. But remember, if you only do three maintenance activities for a medium maintenance lawn, overseed one or two times per year, fertilize in the fall, keep weeds from setting seed. 